In this video, we'll talk about the Graphical Display Editor tool for Relyon 615. Here we have a blank list, and I will add elements to it by dragging and dropping elements from the object types. If the object types are not visible, you can open them by pressing the Enable Object Types button. Elements and object types for Graphical Display Editor are divided into different sections. I will start drawing with the bus bar junction element. Notice that here are three bus board junction elements. One on the beginning, one on the end, and one in the middle, which will be connected to the feeder line. Next, we will insert a feeder element, and you may notice that the tool help you put it in the correct place. Let's add an earthing element. I will add the other junctions later. Now, we need to add dynamic elements, which will change status depending on the information the relay will receive. Let's add an isolator for a disconnector, then a circuit breaker and another isolator for an earth switch. Then, we can add junction elements. And after that, all elements can be connected together. To make a line, you need to hover over one of the element's red triangle. Then left click, hold, release when you reach another red triangle. This way, we can connect all needed elements together. Then, you may notice that some elements are in gray, as they are not yet assigned to the inputs. This element represents the disconnector. So, we should take this disconnector function block from the list. This element represents the circuit breaker so we need to select the correct one from the list. And this one represents the earth switch. If you want to show the name of the element, you can change it in the Properties menu. Here you can also change where this name is located. We got this message because the name went out of bounds. Also, 
On Graphical Display Editor, you can put different types of elements, measurements, sensors, and measurement transformer icons, as well as different kind of equipment elements. This selected button is an element which can be controlled from the local menu and can send signals within the application configuration. Let's add some measurements. You can change the name. And you can change the input signal. In this case, it would be phase current. Then unit text by default is kilovolts, and you need to change it if it is in different units. Here you can also change the number of digits after the decimal point, if you want to have fewer digits like that. After the changes are done, you can save, and you can write this to Relay. If you're going to send all configuration to the Relay by using the Write to IED options, you do not need to do this from Graphical Display Editor separately, because when you write to IED this way, you write everything. Configuration, parameters, and Graphical Display Editor information. 